And we're back with some more RimWorld. And today is the start of our trigger happy adventures. Our little pawns here are going to be settling down in an active combat tile. That means that they're going to get attacked very shortly, about 3.9 days, and then every single day after that. But these trigger happy colonists, I think they're up for it. We just have to make them a base in the next four days that they can hopefully weather the storm with. And by storm, I mean constant, unremitting, unending storm of death. But should be fine. It'll be fine. To try and explain the plan, we have uh, taken this whole area and turned it into one big room. So this is one giant barracks slash dining room. We, we basically just need somewhere to get them started with. And what we did was we ripped down all the walls and connected all the rooms together and then just sealed in any of the gaps with the leftover wood. So it's a very quick and fast way to get us one giant room. I wish I'd have thought it was the first time I started doing this sort of thing. As was that, we're bringing all the animals over and we're going to hook them to a hitching post over here and we're getting all the beds out of storage. We have a bunch of bedrolls we've got lying around the place. We brought them with us and we're going to use those bedrolls to give ourselves the early game, well, to, to at least give us something to sleep in tonight. We'll have to make more permanent accommodations later, but for now it's all about just getting the basic set up. At the end of our first night, everyone's got an extremely impressive barracks to sleep in, namely because of the wonderful floors. They had such nice floors here. We're going to have to rip those up and repurpose the stone, but not until we send over some statues. Once we send the statues over, then we'll repurpose all that stone. For now, it's actually helping us with our mood. Uh, this is for all our animals are staying for now. We don't want them wandering around the place, namely because we want to unload them all. They have a lot of gear on them that we need to put into our stockpile zones. Well, our first night's almost done and it's time to get started on the next day. We're going to make a quick storage area here to jump, dump off all our junk. Otherwise, these animals are going to have to hang around. We need to dump this all in hopefully a storage area where it won't decay, and then we need to get started on our defense perimeter. Now, considering we're going to be attacked all the time by tribals, preferably, I am going to put down a sort of a weird hexagonal shaped defense. Some people complain about square bases. I'm fine with them to be honest, but this time we're going to go with hexagonal. I think people will appreciate the difference, plus it will work out excellent as a defense perimeter. That means we have eight, actually octagonal, apologies. Hexagonal is six sides, octagonal is eight, so we're going to have one side, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So we'll have eight flat sides that we can position our people on with their miniguns. We're going to be depending quite heavily on just excessive amounts of DACA. It's just gonna be a max DACA approach all the way in terms of bullets. We're intending on mowing down those tribals as quickly as we possibly can so that they break. Well, that's the hope. That's been the plan the whole way here. I kind of wanted to jump to this point when I was first starting the series and, you know, maybe generate some characters to go with it, but eh, building up to this point just felt more right. Now we just get to find out if all the preparation works out. Our storage area is almost complete. Those of you with an eye for uh, geometry will notice this is, yes, we're going to be putting a, uh, a beacon in the middle of that so it can be used for sales later on. We just made sure that we had the perfect sized area for it. Uh, there's sort of an overarching design I want to try and squeeze in here, but uh, it depends. I mean, we're, we're literally sort of crammed inside a certain size area, which oh, I'll go more into details as, later as to why we picked those sizes. But for now, what we can do is we can grab all of our animals uh, and we can drop their inventory. Is that all? Uh, horses as well, please. Horses. Horses. Okay, that's um, that's a lot of resources. Uh, all of the survival meal should be dragged over there into that storage area. We're going to want to deploy those power things as well. Oh my god, we have so much junk. Hey guys, uh, may maybe take all that Devil Strand and put it inside. That stuff uh, sort of decays very quickly. Oh, and just a Devil Strand excellent cape. What are you doing? Put that stuff into storage before it gets spoiled. All right, let's do a little bit more maintenance. How much time do we have left on this? We have 3.2 days. So I think we'll wait. We'll go about setting up the basics for the first two days, and for the two days after that, it's going to be all about defenses. Well, we do have some good news. Elephants have shown up. They are going to be wonderful for us in future. Actually, let's demonstrate one of the wonderful features of being on a aggressive tile like this. We want to send Sean Bjog. We want to send them back home, and we want them to take some, well, back to our original base, carrying back a bunch of uh, caravan animals so they can drag the rest of our gear here. However, normally that would take a long time to load up stuff, get them all together, do all sorts of things, but no. Now it gets, well, okay, it's not perfect, a little bit more complicated. Now, since this is an attack tile, or everything is selected automatically by default, it thinks you want to leave the tile, which normally you do after you've finished killing a place, you do just want to bugger off. But instead, what we want to do is only take the caravan animals with us and 
dump all this stuff. We don't want to load all this stuff on. Um, yeah, a little bit confusing. So in a weird situation, we have to reverse untick everything we don't want to bring with us. Which, yeah, that gets a little bit confusing. Oh, that reminds me, yeah, I, I have to untick a bunch of stuff in here as well. It gets just odd. On the bright side, we can get all the weapons that were lying around and instantly pick them up because when we just hit the send button, caravan is instantly put together. That's, that's the thing. It's just instantaneous. It assumes you're leaving. It doesn't think you're actually going to, you know, stay there. So now all of that stuff is gone. You can magically teleport the stuff away. You can even do weird things like take all the tainted clothes off the dead bodies. So all the tainted clothes will just simply be removed and you'll be left with just a bunch of, well, naked bodies lying around the place with all the tainted clothes gone. There's some fun stuff we can get around to. Anyway, our uh, storage area is going to get concreted up, except for the corner. The reason we can't concrete in the corner is that's marshy. We're going to have to put down some uh, oh, moisture pumps. God, I hope I researched moisture pumps. I believe I did. Let me make sure. Nope. Didn't get moisture pumps. Damn it, I could have sworn I got... No, well, never mind. We can, we'll can. put in a research lab in a bit and fix that up. Uh, right now we're putting in some recreational buildings just so people don't go insane. We'll soon have some more though along shortly and we better take the cows out of that area. They're not going to be necessary. We'll soon be disposing of the cows entirely. They are no longer necessary for our plans. Coming up on the end of our second day and our progress has been actually pretty decent. We've uh, ripped up most of the surrounding area, demolished most of the local trees. We're still demolishing some of the surrounding area. There was a, like a big bunch of rocks here that we did not want in the way. The problem was they would interfere with our fields of fire. We need basically an open field of fire around the entire place. We cannot, I repeat, not get dragged down into any fights. If we get dragged into any knockdown fights where we're taking injuries, we're in trouble. Like we can't afford more than an injury or two in every fight because of the heal time and then we're gonna have to face another fight basically 24 hours after the first one ends. We need to be all really tight on how we take care of things. Now, at the same time, Sean Bjog has made it back home and we're going to demolish the last of the stuff, rip out the last of the power cells, and we're going to take all of this stuff and head out of here. I think, though, we're going to load up some of the more expensive items and fire them back home. For example, the power cells, the legendary statues and the excellent ones, all the stuff that weighs, a, well, all the stuff that adds a lot of wealth, we're going to fire that over as opposed to carrying it in the caravan. Otherwise, we're just inviting the caravan to get a large attack on it that will probably destroy it. Well, this is interesting. We've got a quest and a quest has become active. It's called Cl Pirates with a Climate Adjuster. So, turns out that the pirates have set up a climate adjuster that is shifting the regional temperature by 10 C and there's an enemy outpost at the site guarded by 14 pirates. Sh shifting it by 10 C in which direction is the question? Does it actually tell us? Uh, no? Damn it. What's the temperature at our base? Okay, it's 19C. I think they might be adding 10 centigrade. Okay, we're coming into winter, so I'm kind of okay with that. During Once it starts coming around to spring and summer, we'll have to clear it or it will cook us. But I think we're fine with leaving that there for now. In fact, that might help us during the summer, it'll, during the winter. It'll give us a nice temperature controlled room. All right, time to start putting down some defenses. We've got 2.2 days until the enemies arrive and we've got to ring this entire place in barricades. Uh, we have... 300 and, well, 330, 59 slate blocks, about 162 granite we fired those over, and 303 marble. Some of that was fired over in transport pods, the rest we seem to have found on site. Even though this place doesn't naturally have marble, there is eh, some different types of rocks around, lying around the place. Now, remember, we're only dealing with tribals, or theoretically should only have to deal with tribals, so we should be able to just put down regular barricades. We don't have to worry about them being too tough, because most of the fights shouldn't last that long. In theory. Now let me see where we're going to place all of these. I think our best bet to start is to get four cardinal directions covered. Now the sandbags are actually equivalent to barricades. Barricades and sandbags give the exact same amount of cover protection. We're not going with wall chunks though. Normally we'd go barricade wall, barricade wall. Same as we do back in this kill box over here. However, uh, we can't really do that in this instance because we don't know exactly where the enemies are going to be coming from and we just want the largest field of fire. We're not going to be dealing with a single choke point. We're just going to be dealing with swarms of enemies getting mowed down, hopefully mercilessly by our people with miniguns. Well, in theory. Let's uh, let's see how much of this we can get going. And oh my god, Azul, why are you failing at this? What's your... Why are you even on construction? Oh, yep. We'll, we'll put that back to there. I had uh, a few extra people done to on construction so we could get things built faster. Maybe a little bit of a mistake for uh, the amount of resources we lost there. Outside of a nomadic playthrough, this may be one of the larger caravans I have made. We've even stuck on 1500 steel on here. Even a couple of uh, beds. We, we brought our legendary medical bed and a few other bits and bobs. 
Well, that could take a while to put together. Also, we should probably change everyone's assignments so that they can eat all the meals we've given them access to. That should be the last of it. There's nothing else left on this tile to take. Uh, we'll probably leave this here just to see what happens, I suppose. People want to see if it turns into Australia. I doubt it, but you never know. How are we doing over here? We have more than enough wood, actually. I should probably put together a whole bunch of wooden beds out of this. Yeah, no, first defences. I want to make sure we're defended for when the next attack comes. Or the first attack, I should say. This actually is going to take a lot longer than I thought. They're very slow about building those defensive barricades. But uh, we also need to fire back the resources we've got here. These transport pods contain a whole bunch of stuff. We're going to select the launch group. And we're going to launch them all back. Well, I don't know if it back is the right word. Towards our newest location. And let's chuck them all right about there. Should be fine. Perfect. Away they go. Whole bunch more power cells. Excellent. And we've also launched over Good Dog. Good Dog is still incapacitated. I haven't decided on which mod we're going to use to capacitate them yet, but I I think they'll be fine for now. We'll better give them a nice little sleeping spot indoors. We'll give them a little animal bed right there by the dining table, just so everyone can, you know, pet them when they're going by. I mean, they're a good dog. They've done some wonderful work for us so far. Well, we never managed to get our caravan out. Uh, unfortunately, a mech hive has dropped on top of it. Thankfully, it's not, I don't think it's huge. Oh, does it have any power cells? Oh, come on. There's four unstable power cells there. No, 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 we don't need them. Oh, they do have an auto mortar. That's about to attack in 13 days. Ah, uh, thing is, the only, uh, the, my only fear is that our caravan is going to try and navigate its way past that. Do they have any sensors? Ooh, a mech high shield. Uh, they have a proximity activator there and there. But so long as we don't walk by it when our caravan is leaving, we don't care what they do to this tile. I mean, we're leaving. Ah, Rez, what are you doing? Get some rest, buddy. Ugh. You're, the other two are taking a nap. It took so long to load the caravan. I don't blame them. We're basically taking everything we can with us. Back in our new tile, things are beginning to look octagonal. All right. Uh, you can sort of see the outline of the base now taking shape and our defensive perimeter. Our plan will be to hold a line at each area and just use overwhelming forces of firepower to mow down any attacking forces. Uh, also, as well as that, where is it? No, not that one. Terrain affordance. You can see that there is marsh here, marsh here, some marshy points. There's places around here that should hopefully slow down their walk speed, but I doubt they'll go directly across it. I'm highly unlikely any of them will come this way. It'd be just too convenient. But we need to try and line up as straight lined with them, which is why we've got so many sides. As well as that, each side is 21 tiles long. Uh, let me try and demonstrate here. If we grab the orders tool, we can see that is... 21 long, which means we should be able to fit 21 pawns exactly down there on each angle. It's a little bit shorter actually on the diagonals. Then at the same point, we're going to have a second row of barricades back here. That's where our marksmanship command people are going to go so they can boost everyone on the front line. At the same time, the entire width of the base from center to edge, edge being this point over here, is 29 tiles. Now the reason for that is what we might want to do long term is say put four beds here like this with a little medical thing in the middle and hit, hook them up with some yonders. I mean, meat beacons. Just, you know, the beacons that, you know, psychic harmonizers, the full nine yards to uh, help everyone out. And then if their head is placed there, it has a radius of 30, which means it can reach all the way to the end here, meaning everyone inside this hexagon or octagon would be in range of all four of them, giving massive mood bonuses to everyone inside to help prevent mental breaks. That'd be the long-term plan. Now, whether or not we get around to that, I don't know, but uh, just plans within plans within plans. You know what I mean? Now, the moment of truth. Please, don't go by the mechanoids. Ah, yes. Excellent. They're off that edge of the map. We will leave those mechanoids there. They can do whatever they want with this place. Shell it into oblivion for all we care. Uh, power, all the power nodes are gone. Everything's gone. The only thing left behind is a, some unused pod launchers, uh, a chem fuel generator that's got a little bit of chem fuel left in it, an old biofuel refinery, nutrient paste dispenser, and some lights, which won't be on for very long. Oh, and our altar. You know what? We'll, we'll leave the altar there. We're going to have to make a replacement one. That could take some time. Over here, things are looking up all the time. Our massive caravan is going to sell off a bunch of its junk, including a whole bunch of animal furs we no longer need. We're going to get that for all of the money they've got, plus a jump pack, a psychic shock lance, and a psychic soothe pulser. All of these should hopefully come in handy. We want both our casters to be quite mobile when the time comes. All right, how much time we got left? 19 hours. All right, how long is it going to take you guys to get there? Uh, that's going to take you 0.6 of a day. That's fine. You should arrive in plenty of time. And our defenses are almost complete. Now, you notice here where we've got sandbags in some locations. 
That's namely to do with terrain affordance. Some of these areas are marshy soil and we can't build heavy barricades on them. So we're sort of stuck. In fact, we're going to be using a bunch of wooden walls and a lot of wooden base for a while. Hopefully this won't be too problematic, though we're going to find out, I suppose, as time goes along. Just, we chopped down as many trees as we possibly could in the surrounding area. You'll see that all the ones that are queued up, we're trying to reduce the cover for the incoming enemies. We won't get it all, but... You know, we'll take as much as we can now, and the miniguns will cut to a bunch of it later. Damn it, damn it, damn it, this is what I was worried about. Our our caravans got ambushed by a bunch of pirates. That's not good. Um, All right, they want 10 go juice, an insanity lance, and a devil strand cape. Legendary? You're not getting a legendary cape. Get out of here. Okay, there's 10 of them. We have four people, one close combat, three ranged, and Tessex is a caster. Hmm. Refuse and fight. Mm. It's the only way. Now, what have you got? And let's see if uh, this was a bad idea. So, we have a plan. A bad one, but a plan nonetheless. Our enemies do have a low shield pack. Just one. Uh, that's on a light machine gunner. We do have two insanity lances, and this is probably our last chance we're going to get to use them, so we're definitely going to be popping those ones. Sean Biog is going to go up here, try and get a, 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 a flank on, on them, and then the rest of the team are going to go over here and try and line up in a firing squad line. Basically, we're going to depend on the uh, the miniguns to do the mowing down, and then Sean is going to come in after the fact to try and cut down all the non-melee ones. You'll see there's a few melee ones up front and shorter range ones. Well, there's also some snipers behind that. And let's see, here we go. Okay, now which one of you's got the shield pop again? I want to make sure we nab those immediately. Shield pop is miles at the rear. Let's keep an eye on Nicole. Okay, so Nicole's right over there, and our Insanity Lance is just about ready. Oh, no, that's not going to work there. Uh, let's Insanity that one. And then right afterwards, let's Insanity, oh, I don't know, that one? Yeah, that seems like a good idea. Uh, Sean Biog here can go take care of that Nicole problem. Come on. Excellent. Okay, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And in that case, we will have each one of you target a different one. You can target that one, you can target that one, and you can target that one. Sean there is going to make Nicole wish they'd never been born. Nice. This could actually net us a... Okay, nine hours left. Oh, hit him. Done. Uh, excellent. Go grab that one while you're there. How are you feeling? Oh, Tessex got hit. Uh, Berserk is not a good idea. Fire skip. Well, we could have actually just fire skipped out of this, which would have been fun, but no. Uh, we're going to let those three fight it out. I think we're fine for now. Come on, come on, come on. Desix, what are you doing? Sean, what are you doing? How is that guy still alive? Three hours left to bleed out. Beautiful. Okay, in that case... Ooh on that one down. How are they still going? Ow. Is that one hit or two? Yep, yeah, they're broken. Sean, you can get out of the way of them. Actually, does any of them have anything worth killing for? No, not really. This hurt. Those sniper rifles did a lot of damage. Bruise on your left ear? They bruised your left ear. Douches. Left leg is injured. Ooh, right fore toe shut off and left arm injured. Okay, nothing serious, nothing permanent. And Sean Biog is just fine. Dear Lord, just boop, boop, boop. Three in a row, just straight through them. These guys didn't do so good, I suppose. What's the shooting value on everyone here? We've got shooting of 12, shooting of 11, and shooting of 5. You guys should have been doing far more damage. I suppose it's better when we have a larger number, so in smaller numbers we don't do quite so good. But hey, uh, at least they survived. So, oh, before we leave this tile, I should probably point out, I think it's pretty safe to say, I think you can actually settle one of these tiles as well if you want. It's much smaller and it would be much more difficult, but I think you could do the same thing here. Though, why you'd want to, I'm not so sure. Then again, why would we want to do what we're doing anyway? Alright, let's uh, take everything and we should get a shield pop out of this, which... Worst case scenario, that's not too bad of an item to have lying around the place. It's coming up on the time. We've managed to get the caravan here, but I sent... Well, Sean Biog was taking too long to bring the animals back, so I sent him back out on another caravan with the animals, just to keep him off the map until the attack hits. We have three hours left. Probably a little bit less, actually. I think it's time we started bringing everyone back inside. Once we hit about the two-hour mark, what we'll do is we'll zone everyone inside the, the octagon. Yeah, that's enough. Uh, schedule time, people. I want everyone to stay inside the base. Now, if you'll notice, 
that's uh, that's basically the base. Anything inside that octagon, you can stay there. Animals wise, I think we're going to do the same thing. We'll actually put them in. Nope, nope, nope. Never mind. You can be unrestricted. Good dog. Husky can go in area one. And where's there? Where's the elephants? Damn it! Did I send the elephant site with Sean? I I probably did, didn't I? Yep, yep. Totally sent the elephant site with him. Oh well, that's fine. We got about two hours until the attack hits. Once it does, we're going to see if our plans work. <laughs> I'm kind of a little bit nervous, not going to lie. There's been a lot of preparation for this moment. All right, one hour left. Come on, let's see what it hits. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Revenge. Okay, that's a long pause. Don't pause that long. That's bad. All right, 600, wait, what? 669 points from wealth? I, I don't, what the hell is going on? Intermediate total. Okay, so it's still 22,000 points. I have no idea what's going on here. All right, uh, let's see what we got to deal with. We have, oh my God, 198 humans over there. And we have 182 humans over here. This, uh, this should be interesting. We can only take one at a time, can't we? Hmm, let me think. The attack is going to prepare for a little bit, so we're going to see which one prepares closer, and then we're going to go kill that one, then wait for the second one, preferably the smaller of the two. Okay, so they're piling over there, and they're piling for... You know what? Let's go maybe grab a jump jet pack and a doomsday. We've got a couple of doomsdays. We can use them to sort out the early game until we at least get ourselves on our feet. Come on, Tessex. We're going to use you and your jump jet pack to make some uh, serious carnage with a doomsday. All right, Tessex has got a doomsday. They're headed towards the edge here. Uh, let's invisibilize them before they get around the corner. We don't want them doing anything too stupid. Perfect. Then we want to make sure we get in reasonably close. Come on. There we go. Now, there's no way we're going to get through all of that. Nope. There's fine. And... Perfect. Invisibility is going to wear off in seven seconds, so we'll have them run away. Let's see what this does. Oh, actually, you know what? Let's get everyone else ready. We, we might want to get ready to man the firing lines. I'm pretty sure this is going to trigger them no matter what we do. So let's get everyone over there, shall we? And... Yep, yeah, I'm pretty sure they're going to decide to attack after that. Seriously? You're not going to decide to attack? There's 34 of you dead. How many of you have to die before you consider that a problem? Wow. Okay, you need to head back over here and grab your minigun. And we need to get the rest of the team out there to maybe soften them up. Oh, are they attacking? I... No, they're not. Fine. Everyone off the line. We unfortunately have to go out and take care of this problem in the field instead of using our defensive line, which we spent so much time building. And there we go. Also, we've got 19 hours till the next wave arrives. Come on, people. Move it, move it, move it. And there, there, there. Perfect. Now, where are you, Carl? Perfect positioning. I would like you to pop the marksmanship command right now. Lord. Yeah, that was, uh, that was far more damage than we needed to take, but everyone quickly back in here. Maybe we can get in some quick healing before the other crowd attack. Dear Lord. Yeah, if that's the first attack, this is going to be a rough, rough Rough play. Oh, here comes the second crowd. All right, everyone. Uh, Carl, I'm going to want you to position yourself. Damn it, I never managed to finish that second line, didn't I? Uh, okay, so Carl, you're going to want to go just behind everyone so that you can spread out your joy to everyone so everyone gets a nice bonus. Now that we've got cover for this fight, it should hopefully be not as difficult. Uh, Grumpy Gran and Ali Piper, you're in going into the wrong positions. All right, here comes the entire crew. Yeah, they're coming from that angle. Now, this is why we went with an octagonal base. We can hopefully get along to every single position we need to short quickly. Hey, dang, damn it. 
Yeah, we didn't have it. We don't have enough on the diagonals. I put in some extra positionings back here on all the sides, except that one, and completely blanked it. You know what? We'll, we'll, we'll put those in right after this fight. Assuming nothing goes horribly wrong. And we should probably double up so that, that uh, the bonus from the marksmanship command can spread better. All right, here they come. Now, Tessex, where are you? Excellent. Tessex is right there. Dear Lord. It's just the amount of corpses. It's like a corpse explosion when the miniguns start firing. Holy Christ. Just break. What is wrong with you people? All right then. Everyone's injured. Yep, this may have been a bad plan. <laughs> Holy Christ. We just killed how many people? You know, that's that's the living ones. We just killed 121 of them. <laughs> Christ. How many did we kill over here? Oh, never mind. The, the fire took out a bunch of it, but 104 of them over there. This is just monstrous, the amount of damage they're capable of doing. Okay, all of you get back to work, I'm afraid. Like, you know what? Uh, let's maybe tell them to not stop firing so aggressively. We need them to uh, get back to getting healed. We're going to have you... Actually, just put you on ignore for now. Okay, let's see if we can heal everyone up successfully after this. It seems like that was a bit of a... That was a mess. That was a horrible mess. We're also going to need to start getting food under control. Uh, we're going to stick in a nutrient paste dispenser right here. Uh, stick on a hopper or two. Uh, you know what? We'll put the hopper... Actually, it's a bad place. Put a couple of hoppers back there. Actually, two? Yeah, two is fine. So this should hopefully give us the uh, necessary nutrition to keep us going. In fact, we're just going to dump an unstable power cell right beside that. Not maybe my smartest plan, but we're we're in a we're on a timer here. We got seven hours until the next wave arrives, and everyone's not even healed up yet. Uh, guys, where are you focusing on the walls? I really need to actually. One second. Come on. Uh, we will say don't do those walls, but uh, maybe do do those walls. We need those for the fridge type area. Then they should concentrate on putting up those barricades. We need those barricades up and running soon so that we can be ready for the next wave in seven hours. Also, we need them to unload all those animals, and oh, yeah, this is going to be rough, isn't it? I'm not sure we can do this. Uh, the problem is, if another 400 enemies show up, I'm just hoping the first wave is an aberration and the rest will be slightly smaller, or the first wave was just, is going to be huge, and then all the rest calm down a bit. Because if it's 400 enemies every time, that's, um, well, that's quite a lot. That's just, you know, we're, that's just way too many for us. How many pollens do we have again? We have 23 pollens. Oh, that does remind me, we have to get rid of Alvarez. And zero seconds until the enemies arrive, and... Oh, great. Sappers. Sappers, that's just wonderful. And, oh, we only got 15,000 points because they're a sapper raid. How, how many enemies are we looking at here? Uh, give me the numbers on enemies. We have 250... No, we can't handle it. Not every round. There's too many. Okay, how do we handle... You know what? I didn't want to do this. I really did not, but I don't think we have much of a choice. We'll handle this one, but after that, we need to turn off unlimited threat scaling. We can't keep handling raids like that size. Maybe normal size raids we can handle, but for now, we're going to have to burn a doomsday to even have a hope of surviving this. We'll have one crowd take care of, say, what's up here? We got 128 over there, and how many have we got over here? We got 128. Right, so... Hmm. Let me think for a second. I'm thinking we send the doomsday... Send the doomsday down here. Doomsday down here because they're further away. And we have the rest of the crew go up there to handle the top right, where we still haven't got those barricades up. All right, team over here is good to go. Actually, you can move in a little bit. Tessex is on their way down here to try and... Oh, God. This is going to be awkward. You know what? We do have a berserk. That might be an idea. Yeah, well, you can see in the map in the top right that we have started firing in one direction. Uh, you. Berserk pulse that one. Nice. Now, are they going to bunch up, or do we have to start firing? Oh god, uh... There, I suppose? I want to hit right about there. Damn it, this is an awkward shot.
Uh, damn it, I should have invisibilized them first. How are we doing on this front? Well, are those corpses from the last fight or... You know what? Who cares? Tessex is the more important one right now. Tessex. Perfect. Now I need you to jump jet the hell out of there. Ooh. Well, they've broken. That's excellent. That means we need the whole crew down here. Quickly. Guys, wait. Why can't I... God damn it. Everyone down here immediately. Uh, actually, that's not going to work, is it? What? Oh, Sean Biog. That's why it's not working. Sean Biog's in bed. Okay, you. Quick. Down here. Quick, 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 quick. Desix, pull back. Get inside. Oh, great. We're going to shred our own defenses. Rhino Revenge? Yeah, I think that's the least of our worries right now. That guy's literally point-blank range. You know what? I don't care. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I am so glad we turned off the, uh, the raid. <laughs> the raid size. But still, at least we get to kill a whole bunch of them. All right, then. Everyone get back and get healed up. We got another raid coming in... 22 hours, and we need to clean up the mess. Also, we need to get you another food source. Uh, things are about to get a little bit darker out here on the rim. Slowly but surely, we managed to get everyone tended up and sweep up all of the blood. We've still got 17 hours before the next attack arrives. This is, this is just going to be so much fun. Uh, we still need that butcher's table. Hey, someone, someone want to get on that, guys? We're going to get our fridge up and running just by throwing in a couple of coolers and some unstable power cells right beside them because we like to live dangerously. We'll put in a proper power grid later, but for now we're just trying to, well, just trying to survive, basically. Uh, we can drop that and drop that. I think we finally got all our animals back. The animals aren't automatically roped in when you come into this tile. It's, it's treated like an attack, so all your pawns, when you bring them back into a settlement, come with... Well, they come drafted, and all the animals are not attached to them, so you then have to wrangle them all up. We're, we're going to get rid of all of these. All of these animals have to go. There's no use for most of them. The only ones we're going to keep are the elephants, namely because they are very useful in this tile. Everything else, eh, not so much. We are going to expand this area over here and put in some prisoner quarters. The prisoner quarters will be for, well, for expanding our ranks slightly. Only tough and trigger-happy pawns will be hired. Tough and trigger-happy, they have to be both. Oh, one exception to that, though. If we down an enemy and the enemy that's downed and still alive is trigger happy and doesn't have any major health conditions, we'll also hire them. So we're only hiring either a double whammy, we'll zap him with a psychic shock lance, or if they've just got trigger happy and they managed to survive the attack. Though I really should have checked. Let me check the map again. No, there, there's no, none alive left. Also, uh, for right now, we're going to start using just... We've slaughtered up our cows to turn them into meat to keep our peep pawns going on paste meals. But that's not going to last. Uh, we're not going to have time to grow crops and stuff, so it's just sort of more efficient if we make some modifications to our religion to allow for a more varied diet, if you know what I mean. Also, I think I'm going to take the uh, a whole bunch of the animals here and just sell them off. We don't need them anymore. Well, uh, yeah, we're going to take a lot of them off the map. The only thing we're going to keep is the elephants, because the elephants are really handy. Everything else, eh, not so much. By sending off Sean Biog here with all of these animals, we can sell them off at the... Well, we can sell them off over here. We can trade with Sparland and get rid of them, or we can just gift them to them if they don't have enough money to give it to us as resources. And at the same time, it's two hours left until the next raid hits. In the meantime, we'll just continue constructing what we can, and I'm ripping up all these floors and replacing them with concrete. If we want better floors than this, they're going to have to earn it. Ah, quest active. Uh, ancient structure caper? All right. Ancient complex that is said to contain ancient treasures. Don't care. Yep. Yeah. Uh... We're also going to have to get on a raid at some point as well. Hopefully... Oh, wow, only three people are injured now. That's... Right stab in the right arm. Jason's doing pretty good. Healed up from most things, except for a cut there. Yeah, I think everyone's doing not too bad. And Alvarez is still with us. I've been meaning to get rid of Alvarez. All right, seven seconds. Let's see what the next raid has in store for us. Zero seconds left, and the attack rate, please don't be 400 people. Please tell me that when we've turned it down, it's not going to be so horrifying. Uh, what we've got is 12,000 points. You know what? That I can I can live with. Is it? Uh, they're attacking immediately. Okay. 
Perfect. 12,000 should be doable. How many enemies are you looking at? I should really turn off the ability to count stuff. Uh, we're up to 217. 217? That's no problems. We'll just get the team up here and... Oh my god, I forgot something, didn't I? Yeah, I forgot to turn something into a second DACA. Damn it! Yeah, no, we can handle one raid. So because of my sloppiness, we don't have a marksmanship command ready to go. But that is fine. Oh, actually, animals, bring them all back to area one. Excellent. So we'll group everyone up and then we'll just, we'll use a shield puff. God, I hate burning through so many items. We've already burned through tombs, do, two doomsdays. Let me find a shield pop around here somewhere. All right, everyone's grouped up. Jason is in position. I'm not sure everyone's going to be inside it, but... Oh, it's only these three first. That's fine. We can take care of them. I love the way the rock chunks are also getting shredded by this. I was uh, taking a brief look over here at where this last fight had been. Rock chunks have been... We're, we're eventually going to destroy all the cover. So I think we can turn the raid threat level back up again later, just not quite yet. Not until we've actually dealt... Oh, come on, seriously? Make up your mind. You should have been following those three. I think there's just too many of them. They don't know where to go. Come on. No, oh, our trader has actually made it there. One second. Now, where were we? Oh, yes. Shooting a bunch of people. Come on. Come on. You're almost in range. Yep. Let's see what happens to the sandstone chunks. I'm kind of curious. Yep, they've started firing. All right, I think we burn a shield. Uh, we want me to bring a couple of people back inside. Teabag, get in there. Yvonne, you're fine. Uh, yeah, I think we're good at that. That should keep just about everyone safe, and we shouldn't have any injuries from this, which would be nice. We should hopefully be completely healed for the next fight. Dear Lord. Even without the marksmanship command, they're pretty monstrous. Hey guys, uh, there's, a, there's, there's a guy walking up there. Uh, anyone want to take care of that? Tessex, tell you what, why don't you just... Uh, okay, I'll skip that guy. That might be an idea. Actually, cancel that. He decided to turn around. see what do we got oh, God. like there's just so many corpses now how many corpses have we got on the map uh yeah that's not gonna help very much is it let's try corpses and 560 already dear lord we've killed 560 people we've only been here a few days uh, there's a careful shooter oh there we are yep it reminds me i never actually checked a bunch of these to see if any of them were uh psychically hype or not psychically hype chambers tough and trigger happy though yeah i'm not seeing any just off the top of my head this i should have done a while back we're going to take paul here and we're going to turn them into a shooting specialist you can have multiples of them and uh, then what we can do is make sure that you know only a few people are actually present hey azul you're wearing you're, you're not wearing pink there we go it's going to take 10 people and they'll be able to do their little ceremony it'll take two hours and then at the end of it paul will be a shooting specialist However, I have been advised there is some other things we can do as well. For example, Paul here, oh, just check your Paul here, it can do animals and social, so the reason we're selecting them is they won't really lose any access to anything that we care about in the first place. And, oh, game's gonna lag for a bit. Paul, what are you doing? Oh, attending role change. The thing is, we can grab all these people here, and even though they were completely necessary to go and do this, oh, what do you call it? Ah, role change? They can leave the role change now, go back to doing whatever they were doing, and it won't make a difference. Game doesn't mind. It's like, yep, yeah, Paul will actually still go and attend the role change all by their lonesome and talk to themselves. One of those little sweet little bugs you can take advantage of to make sure everyone's getting to work at maximum. And we definitely need people working at maximum. Oh, God damn it. We missed the Emilista flare, whatever. It's been too busy. We'll deconstruct that and worry about it later. Guys, why are you roofing that in already? Uh, you know what, let's get you a light in there so you can actually see what you're doing, maybe? Yeah, there you go. We, we also have to set up electricity, but that might be a minute. Successful roll change completed. There we go. Where, where'd you go? Paul? Ah, yes. So Paul now has access to the marksmanship command, which is completely separate from Carl's, which is expired. So, 
what we can do is we're going to have four marksmen. So with four marksmen, we'll always have a marksmanship command active, and then, uh, well, once we get this sorted out properly, it should mean we, we are able to put down enormous amounts of firepower everywhere we go. Let me uh, extend these on a little bit as well, maybe. There we go, the base is almost looking like an actual... Okay, it doesn't look like an actual base, it looks like an absolute mess, but... We have the fridge up and running. We're getting minus. We're getting into minus temperature, so everything there will say preserved. We actually have a prison area set up in here, though I do need to put down a whole bunch of wooden beds. We need to get off of these uh, wooden bed rolls. And what? I think it's time we took advantage of the quality build tool and build ourselves a whole bunch of excellent or better wooden beds. Wait, no, no. We should probably finish the defenses first. Yeah, and I think about the defenses would probably be a smarter plan. Okay, we'll finish the defenses first, but I think I think I'm actually out of time for today. Problem is, it's going to be a little bit slow while we get the base up and running. But after that, it should just be a case of well, mowing down enemies all over the shop all day, every day, and then well, then we need to do something with all of that. So I have a, an end game plan. It's actually been the plan from the beginning, but the end game plan will have to wait until we've become well, we've stabilized and we've got the base up and running. Anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed and good luck. Also. Why won't it stop raining? It's been raining every single day we've been here. It totally affects our accuracy and makes our survival much less likely. Ugh, God damn it. Thanks, Randy.